Okay, hey guys, what's up? Um, so the Captain America Civil War trailer, the second one, it just came out today, and I'm a little late getting this up. I figured I would try to do a reaction video for this trailer, and I'd give my thoughts on it a little bit later after I watch the trailer, but right now, let's cut to the chase and let's get to the trailer right now. And here we go. This job. We try to save as many people as we can. Sometimes that doesn't mean everybody. But you don't give up. Oh, Avengers. New York. the first Avengers. Washington, D.C. Winter Soldier. Sokovia. And Ultron. Okay, that's enough. Captain, people are afraid. Did they brought William Hurt back. That's why I'm here. We need to be put in check. Whatever form that takes, I'm game. I'm sorry, Tony. If I see a situation pointed south, I can't ignore it. Sometimes I wish I could. Sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. I know we're not perfect. Oh! Oh! oh. But the safest hands are still our own. He's not dead. He can't be. The whole world was wrong about you. They're coming for you. I'm not the one that needs to watch their back. This doesn't have to end in a fight, Tony. You just started a war. Oh, I can't wait. Stay down. Final warning. I could do this all day. Oh. Oh. All right. I've run out of patience. On the roof! Spider-Man! They probably put him in the hey, movie. Everyone. They probably put him in. Okay, obviously there's a whole lot of shit to talk about in this, but I'm going to try to cut it down because it's just way too many things. So I'm going to start off. First things first, I like the theme that they're going with this movie. It's the Civil War, and if you've never read about it, it's basically, well, in the comics, it's a superhero registration act where all heroes are being held accountable, and there's some people who are for it and some against it. Now, it's obviously not going to be 100% loyal to the comic book, but it's pretty close, and it's the pretty popular series. It's a bit barely written as far as the comic goes. The first thing I want to talk about is Black Panther. Well, I know even though it's Captain America's movie, but I want to talk about Black Panther, and I just love the fact that he's in this movie, finally. I mean, we had a couple shots of him in the first trailer, but now in the second trailer, we've got him involved in some more action, and he just looks badass in this trailer. The second thing I want to talk about is the War Machine scene. Okay, my personal feeling is I know he's not dead, and you may have seen me talking about it while the trailer was playing, but I have a feeling he's not dead, and I think they're just doing that just to fuck with us. They're just trying to, like, toy with the audience to make it appear that he's dead, so we'll be surprised when someone else who actually may or may not die in this movie actually does die. And they're just trying to, like, throw a red herring there, and I'm not buying it. I see it in movies all the time. And the other, they really wouldn't do it so badly or make it so blatant that we would actually believe it. But lastly, let's talk about the thing everybody wants to talk about, and that's the Spider-Man scene. Now, clearly, everybody's been wondering when is Spider-Man going to show up, if he shows up in the movie at all, and it's kind of pleasing to wait to see at the end of the trailer what he does. He just randomly flips over Captain America, takes his shield, and just kind of introduces himself like, oh, hi, everyone. Hi, I'm here. A lot of people are criticizing the way his suit looks because it looks very cartoony and not as, like, played out as, like, the first two Spider-Man movies. I honestly don't see the complaint right here, other than his eyes, which kind of do that little squint thing. But really, the suit looks okay, and I kind of want to see what he does, because he had a pretty decent-sized part in the actual comics. Obviously, I'm not talking that much about Cap and Iron Man, because we all know how that plays out. We already have a pretty good idea of what they stand for. One is pro, one is anti, one is for something, one is against. 
And this has been building up for a couple years now. Really, it's not that much new. It's just a couple extra quotes and scenes of them hitting each other and threatening each other and realizing that everything's not as simple as it looks. All right, so the Captain America Civil War trailer part two. Have you seen it? What did you think? Who started you on, Team Iron Man or Team Cap? What do you think? Leave me a comment below and tell me how you feel. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter at Astrid Mike. Don't forget to check out my blog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put a link in the description below. And as always, I will see you around.